Okay, so the first thing we've done is we've dug ourselves a trench and it's basically three shovels in both directions and just flipped the sod over off to the side. Right there you see that triangle of sod and that came out of our triangle pit. Now we're going to set up our trench forge with stuff we can carry around in a five gallon bucket as a mini blacksmith shop. Okay, so we got six holes in this piece of pipe. This will be our plug on the other end, just like this. We'll put a cap on that. That way we clean it out real easy. Just take that cap off. And this is going to be our center of our pit forge. This is where our air blast is going to come from. Everything here will be surrounded by coals in the pit with V's of fire brick. And I'll show you that when we get down there. Okay, guys, so what we got so far here is we have taken our piece of pipe that we drilled out and we have connected an end cap to that, an elbow, a nipple, an elbow, and a nipple. And that just gives us the flexibility to put this wherever we want to for our airflow outside this pit. And we're going to build our forge around this piece of pipe. So let's get some fire brick over here. Okay, we're going to put a piece of fire brick on each side of this, just like this, up right in front of the nipple there. And this basically is just to hold heat in. And then we've got a couple pieces of fire brick that we can put over to the top, just like this if we want to, to hold heat down in there. And I'll show you how that works in a few minutes. But it's always good to carry four or five of these fire bricks with you if you can. If you can't, you don't have to have them. You could build it just in this pit. But this fire brick will reflect a lot of heat and save you a lot of fuel when you're forging in a pit like this if you've got this fire brick that you can use. So we're going to put these two pieces of fire brick in there during this demonstration and use them while we're forging here. Let's get this thing down where it's even. Rock in there. Yeah, there. Just like that. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Okay, starting a fire in here would be the same as any other coal forge. So I'm going to dump some hot coals in here from my other forge to demonstrate this. Okay, so for our airflow, what we've done here is we've got just a blower for an air mattress. And you can see it's got different connectors on it. Well, one of these connectors fits perfect inside this three-quarter inch tube. So that connector right there is the one we want. And we'll get rid of the rest of these. We don't need those. And we'll just use that one and keep it attached to the pump. And then I have cut both of the leads off and put alligator clips on them to hook onto our battery. And then we just need to hook this on here, just like that. Got an on off switch, and there's our fan out output. Put that right there, lean it to the side so it can breathe, just like this. And then all we have to do is plug this into our Plug this into our battery. And like I said, we can recharge this battery easy enough with our charger or with our vehicle if we had to. take a few minutes for that to get going but I can feel the air coming up through it take a minute to get those cold hot again probably okay guys here we go we're getting getting there now so you can see that's a very viable option for just a backyard out in the woods whatever the case may be quick forge now I've got charcoal in there right now but you could definitely use wood and you can make your own charcoal. We're going to talk about that in future videos as well. It's very easy with a small setup like this to make your own charcoal for the next fire. Just like you make char cloth 
for your next fire that you can at least add that charcoal that you make to whatever you're using to build your fire with and continue to put hardwoods on it but then continue to make more charcoal for the next fire as well and I'll show you how to do that in a future vid too okay I've just got a piece of straight metal rod in there right now just to uh, show you that this thing will get up to forge temperature Right now we're making a lot of coke. We really don't have our beehive going yet. Still early in the game. But this thing will get plenty hot plenty fast. Yeah, I'm sure that's plenty hot. Look at that. Almost white hot. That hadn't been in there more than a couple of minutes. It was stone cold, so definitely be able to forge a nap, make a knife, make a tool, whatever the case may be, no problem. Getting a nice little honeycomb built up right there, getting hard coke. Got a nice pit right in there to put our work into. This is working out dandy. Okay hey guys, I want to show you one more time here. I mean that thing is just hot to the bone. And that's a pretty good length of that piece of steel we got hot in there now. Probably a five inch piece. So that's really enough to forge a knife blade in. Get right down to it. Alright guys, well, I'm Dave Canberra at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me out here for this quick tutorial on how to make a pit forge. You can make this type forge anywhere in the woods. Carry everything you need in a five gallon bucket, including the tools you need to forge with. We'll talk about that in the video coming up, Blacksmith Shop in a Bucket. I thank you for all your views. I thank you for your comments. I thank you for your support. Everything you do for me, for my school, for my family, for my supporters, and my Pathfinder affiliates. I'll be back with another video in this series as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.